Here is another case, and I think we could recognize this once again very quickly as being a kidney. You can see glomeruli here, 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 all throughout here, all throughout here. You can see a lot of tubules here. But in addition, you could see a very distinct and fairly wedge-shaped area of hemorrhage and necrosis out at the more uh, outer cortex. This is very, very classical for an infarct. You can still see the outlines of some of the glomeruli with this in, within this infarct. But more importantly, you can see that there is no cellular detail within most of the tissue structures here. You can see glomeruli and tubules, but you can't uh, recognize uh, nuclear cytoplasmic differentiation because this area is dead. So we have an infarct in the kidney. So what? Let's take another look uh, at this case from a different point of view. Let's take a look at this liver here. You probably don't know it's liver yet, but you do now because you could see cords. You could see central vein areas. You could see portal areas here. And once again, you could notice that the central portions of the lobules seem to be a little congested. Uh, in addition, at the periphery of this liver, you could see something that doesn't look like liver at all, but rather it looks like haphazardly, irregularly growing, infiltrating glands with large, bizarre nuclei. This is a classical metastatic adenocarcinoma of the liver. It could be coming from anywhere because the liver is one of the organs that just about everything can spread to. In this case, this adenocarcinoma happens to be coming from the pancreas. And you can see a nice pushing margin here in the liver. In addition, in this third uh, organ, all from the same case, we'll soon recognize that this is myocardium. You could see uh, sub-epicardial fat right here. You could see the large arteries running in the sub-epicardial fat. I think you could recognize the fact that we have cardiac muscle here because we have muscle fibers in which uh, the nuclei seem to be centrally located. But in addition, we start to see infiltrates of neutrophils within this muscle. And uh, we also have a hard time making out nuclear detail as well. This is a infarcted myocardium, and it's an acutely infarcted myocardium because if you look in some of the areas, you can see very heavy infiltrates of neutrophils now. So let's put this whole case together. We have an infarct of the kidney. We have an, right here, we have an infarct of the myocardium. Uh, seen most intensely here, but you'll remember here we had some infiltrates of neutrophils and hard to delineate nuclei as well. And we have a liver which is not only congested, but we see a big uh, cancer of the pancreas pushing into it. Well, to put this whole case together, let's just understand that in carcinoma of the pancreas as well as several other adenocarcinomas but no, most notoriously in carcinoma of the pancreas there are substances present in the carcinoma that predispose to thrombosis and infarction and uh, that's how we put this whole case together and thank you very much